Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Foldable screens on smartphones are nothing new, as we've been seeing them for a couple of years now. And while manufacturers are still figuring out how to make such a device more usable, it is clear that this is the direction in which the industry will move in the future. Because at the moment, it looks like the only way to offer something fundamentally new to the end user. OLED technology has allowed a certain degree of flexibility, so in addition to TVs with flexible screens, the logical place where the technology could be applied are laptops. We've been seeing models that rotate the screen by 360 degrees for many years, and that concept proved to be useful, but this time Lenovo went a step further. Meet the ThinkPad X1 Fold. Instead of rotating the screen, the X1 Fold is more reminiscent of the Samsung Galaxy Fold series of devices, except that it is not a phone-tablet combination, but a tablet-laptop device. By folding the screen in half, this large 13.3-inch tablet transforms into a 9.6-inch compact laptop that you can easily use in a confined space or pack it in a small bag. In addition to the tablet and laptop modes, the built-in stand allows upright placement on the flat surface, making it ideal for consuming multimedia content or working on a larger screen. Although we used it mostly as a tablet during testing, thanks to the convenient optional peripherals in the form of a wireless keyboard and a pen, other modes of operation are equally practical. The experience of watching movies, YouTube videos, or just surfing is great in fully open tablet mode. If you need to type something, for instance, folding it at an angle of 90 degrees is another option where you can use a virtual on-screen keyboard or a wireless hardware one. For longer typing sessions, the physical keyboard is of course still unmatched, especially due to the fact that the Windows 10 still doesn't support vibration feedback when typing. If half of the screen seems tight, you can always unfold it by opening the triangular part of the leather case that acts as a stand. This way, you will get a big screen and the use of keyboard next to device. For more precise screen operations, you can use the Lenovo Mod Pen, which has an integrated battery and detects 4096 pressure levels. I will mention that we were pleasantly surprised by the fact that it is possible to use a pen on a flexible screen, because all other foldable devices have much more sensitive screens, which must not be pressed anything other than a lighter touch. All this is possible thanks to the unique hinge system that is cleverly hidden behind the rubber accordion frame that skillfully hides the hinge and the bending mechanism, preventing the retention of dust and dirt. The entire frame of this laptop, tablet, whatever you prefer it to be, is rubberized for better grip and when it folds, the space between the two halves of the screen is still present and noticeable. To somewhat mask the fact that no screen allows a zero degree fold, when you place the mini keyboard, it fits perfectly in the space between the two halves of the screen. The keyboard and the pen are optional accessories and their price is $99 for the pen and $230 US for the keyboard, which is by no means a small amount, but it is not too much if you compare it with the price of the device, which costs roughly $2,500 US and upwards. For that amount, you will get the Lakefield Generation Core i5 L16G7 mobile processor, 8GB of integrated memory, a 256GB SSD, and the Windows 10 Home. More expensive models come with a keyboard and stylus as a standard equipment, larger storage capacity that goes up to 1TB, Windows 10 Pro, and support for 5G, in which case the price easily exceeds the figure of US$3,000. The screen itself is an OLED type with a solid brightness of 300 nits and it's fairly reflective due to the protective layer on the top. The crease in the middle is present but it's not visible to the naked eye, though you can feel it when you run your finger over the middle of the screen, which is also when you can notice a hinge mechanism that allows folding. The screen aspect ratio is 4x3 with a resolution of 2048 x 1536 pixels and an enviable pixel density, which allows for a large desktop even when you use it folded with a keyboard. The chassis is in line with the philosophy of the ThinkPad X series, 
made of the highest quality materials available, or in this case, alloy of carbon fiber and magnesium. A protective leather case wraps around the laptop and covers the back completely when in tablet mode, and slightly retracts when you fold it, revealing part of the chassis with a piano black finish. In line with the ThinkPad series, black is a dominant color, with occasional hints of red here and there. The ThinkPad X1 logo is visible in the upper right corner of the case, while on the chassis there is a Core i5 sticker. The back of the device when it's folded has a discreet embossed Lenovo logo, as well as a hinge that rotates in triangular piece, which act as a stand and allows for a fully open device to stand upright on a flat surface. With just two USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, you won't be overly pleased with the expansion options. On the other hand, both slots can be used to charge the device via 65W charger that comes in the package, and one of them can also be used as a display port. Note that the package does not include a micro-USB-A cable when charging the keyboard, but that wireless charging is possible when the device is in the folded laptop mode. When it comes to the performance of this model, the Core i5 is not really a full-blooded Core i5, but a 5-core hybrid processor that uses one 3 GHz fast Sunny Cove core and four slower Tremont cores at a maximum of 2.8 GHz. Although named the Core i5, the processor in the X1 Fold laptop is intended primarily for ultra-thin and light laptops, with performance slightly below the Core i3-8130U mobile processor. And if you were expecting a top performance for $2,500, we will have to disappoint you, as Lenovo has been aiming for a minimum power consumption of just 7 watts that this 10 nanometer processor offers. Heating is noticeable when the X1 Fold is under full load and the ventilation openings are located at the top of the screen when the device is in the laptop mode. Performance is as expected and the occasional hiccups in use can be attributed to the somewhat slower response of the operating system, especially due transitions when changing orientation and folding the screen. Although support for touchscreens has existed for years, the responsiveness of the Windows operating system is nowhere near the mobile operating systems, which are after all designed just for that. As an aid, there is a Lenovo Mode Switcher app that allows you to select a mode, especially useful when the X1 is in laptop mode, as it allows you to easily switch apps to the top or bottom screen. With a 50Wh battery, Lenovo promises 8.5 hours of combined use and almost 10.5 hours of video playback. In our case, PowerMark measured 7.5 hours of autonomy, either with fully active screen or in laptop mode with a keyboard, which is about 15% less than advertised. This result was achieved with brightness on the edge of visibility and without much use of the speakers, so the real autonomy with a combined workflow is about 5.5 hours. We definitely have to say that we expect a little more when it comes to battery life. We will also mention that right next to the right hinge there is a camera with a 5 megapixel resolution, which on paper is a real refreshment among the usual 720p sensors. If there's plenty of light, the performance is quite good, while in standard room conditions you can still count on the blurry video calls with a lot of noise, which is not much better than the aforementioned 720p cameras. In everyday use, X1 Fold allows for a great flexibility in use. In an age when everyone is using apps like Zoom, this laptop is like a fish in the water. In laptop mode, you can have a video call on one and an active chat application on the other half of the screen. When your hands get tired, it is enough to flip the kickstand and place the device standing on the table and then take it with you to the bed and continue what you started in laptop mode. Plus, a pen allows you to explain something to the people you're communicating with during a video call by drawing on the screen you share, so for this kind of usage, X1 Fold is really great. The best thing is that when you need to carry it, it is enough just to fold it into the size of a slightly thicker A5 notebook and place it in an average small bag or a backpack. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold should be viewed as a real technological milestone and as an early look of the future of laptops. What Samsung needed two generations to achieve with the Z Fold series, Lenovo did with a laptop in their first attempt. And honestly, if we could choose which series is the first laptop to come out with a flexible screen should belong to, Lenovo ThinkPad would be our first choice. Distinctive ThinkPad durability combined with the functionality are ideal for a device like this. 
This practical companion will allow you to do your office tasks anywhere and to get comfortable even in not very comfy environment. Yes, the keyboard is a bit cramped and requires getting used to, but there is a touchpad and a pen, as well as the screen that transforms into whatever you need at most certain moment. A large area for watching movies, working with multiple windows at once, or a small laptop when you can just type long emails or do most job without restriction. The battery life is a bit problematic and we would prefer if the performance of the small Intel so-called Core i5 would be a bit better, but it is what it is. Five to six hours of battery life will be enough for you when you're out of the office and that should be enough for most of the users for the day. Fortunately, the fast charger charges the battery relatively quick, so in a short time you're ready to continue, even if you use it to an extended period of time. We didn't expect a lower price than this for the world's first laptop with a flexible screen, and after all, it is a very similar to the price at which Samsung sells the second generation of the Fold devices, so you can be the judge if these kind of devices can be considered equal. The X1 Fold is truly spectacular device that will definitely leave an impression on anyone. It is beautiful, practical, well-made and unique in many ways. We are more than satisfied with the first generation of the new technological milestone. A slightly faster processor and a better battery life are something we'd love to see in the future alongside with better Windows OS optimizations for these kind of devices. For now, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold is a device with exceptional features, but also exceptional price. If you ask me I would like to own it, the answer is yes, absolutely. But please know that if you're looking for a laptop that checks every mark off of your ideal list, that this is probably not that device. What it is certainly the most unusual mobile device at the moment. Lenovo probably made it primarily to prove that they are one of the industry leaders and innovators. Now we have to wait and see what other manufacturers have up their sleeve and can they do something similar or better in the foreseeable future. Please let us know in the comment section below if these kind of devices appeals to you and if you think that the foldables are the way of the future. Thank you for watching Benchhouse review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold device. Benchhouse is back and better than before so make sure to stay tuned for more tech reviews by subscribing to our channel. I will see you next time.